A Wake County student will be out of class for a year after school leaders said he brought a gun to campus. CBS 17's Sean Cuddy has been uh, looking into this. He joins us now. You've been digging deeper into just how often this happens. Yeah, fortunately, no one was hurt yesterday at Cary High School, but again, it's an automatic 365 day suspension whenever this happens in North Carolina. Tonight, I went through state reports going back about 15 years to find out how common these types of cases are. It's scary. You don't know what's going to happen when you send your kids out the door. It's a feeling of uneasiness shared by many parents today, like Kashana Tony, whose son goes to school in Wake County. It's unbelievable. She's talking about what happened at Cary High School, where the principal told parents Wednesday during an unrelated search, school staff found a gun. It was unloaded, but the principal called the discovery dangerous and unacceptable. It's a discovery that's unfortunately all too common. Just Thursday, to our south in the Charlotte area, investigators found three guns at two schools. I got a hold of state reports dating back to the 0607 school year and found while there was a dramatic drop in the number of guns or explosives seized on North Carolina school campuses in the late 2000s, the numbers trended upward starting at about 2015. There were 124 cases of guns at school in the 2018-19 year, the last fully in-person year on record. Is it a parent's, you know, firearm? Is it a firearm that belongs to someone else that they had easy access to? Questions Nash County Sheriff's Deputy Brandon Medina finds himself asking the biggest mistake he sees adults make. The false sense of security of putting a firearm in their drawer or somewhere where it's easily accessible. Meanwhile, parents are still digesting this latest case here in the Triangle. I can't believe this is happening. This is our norm. In Wake County, district leaders tell me they've seen just two cases of guns on school campuses this year, and they say that is down from past years. Sean Cudahy, CBS 17 News. All right, Sean, thank you.